Hi, welcome to an on shape sheet metal video tutorial. I want to show you how to do this bracket which I did before in some of the other programs. Okay, it's a little bit different to the other programs, but it works quite well. So let's start and have some fun with on shape. Let's start with the usual sketch. Maybe on the front plane. And this could look something like this. Okay. Make it symmetric. Okay. Give it some dimensions. This should be one two zero. This should be forty. That distance should be seventy. Let's take a look here. And this should be symmetric as well, so go for symmetry this point and that point symmetric to that plane and confirm. Now let's do our sheet metal. Go to sheet metal and I want to have an extrude with that sketch make it symmetric make it 30 thickness 1 millimeter bend radius 2 millimeter and confirm now to get this band that's a little bit tricky I think but just go for the flattened part and take a look at your band table and you could easily identify those two bands this one just change the radius here to 18.99 19 is not possible and this one as well 18.99 and it almost looks like in the other programs that's the battery very small okay now let's add some flanges you could do this simultaneously with both views on the screen but I will just close it I need a band right here and a band right there. So let's go for flange with this one and it should be 70. Okay. Don't get disturbed by this. I will fix it or let's say it will fix itself now go for this flange and this should be 10 now let's put our move tool to produce so go to move face select this face you could select this as well, doesn't matter. And the direction should be this one. And it should be 10. See, it fixed itself. Same over here. Another move face. That face. 
in that direction. This arrow doesn't always point in the right direction. So let's make this 10 and it seems I've selected something wrong. Okay, this face and that face or maybe the direction was direction was this one, yes. Turn it around and confirm. Now let's move the faces again. And I want to move these. So go to move face, this face, that one, this one, this one, that one, and finally this one. And I didn't select these small faces. Direction should be this. Reverse the arrow, and it doesn't update, but it's okay. And do it by five millimeters. Okay. Now let's move the other faces. You can move face, select this face, that face, and this one, not the small one, this, that, no, 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 not that, but this one, and that one, and the direction is again that plane. Let's take a look, the arrow points in the right direction, so hopefully it does in the right direction and this should be 20 and confirm very nice now I could hide the planes because I don't need them anymore hide all planes and do another flange right here with that edge and make it 20 and confirm let's take a look at our flattened model very nice okay now I want to add some camphers but that's not possible on this sheet metal model. So you could finish the sheet metal model and then go for the camphers. If you want to have the camphers in your flattened model you have to do it in a different way. You have to do it with sketches. So let's do a sketch, maybe hide this one and go to sketch on that surface and let's view normal to the sketch plane, zoom in and let's draw one triangle and another one Okay, give it some dimensions. This should be 45. 
This should be 45. This might be 5. And that might be 5. Close the sketch and just make an extrude. Remove with this and that sketch region. Make it, yeah, could make it apply, make it up to next or up to face, up to part, or just give it, let's say, two will do because it's only one millimeter thickness and confirm. So if you take a look at your flattened model, this one will appear right here. And if you finish the sheet metal with that one, I want to finish this one and confirm. Then the sheet metal is done and then you could do the camphers right here. Five is okay. Here and here and down below here and there but this will not show in your flattened model so you have to decide if you want the cam first in your flattened model or not and if you want to do a drawing of the flattened model very simple just go over there right click Create drawing of flat pattern of part one. Select your template, that's okay. This will take a while. And you've just put it right there. And you got the flattened view in your drawing. If you want to see more sheet metal with OnShape, give it a like down below, leave a comment. Thanks for watching, see you to the next one, bye bye.